Hello everyone, welcome back to Madden 2002. Uh, we are here looking at the injured reserve here, the injury report uh, for your Dallas Cowboys because there has been an issue. As we saw last week, Anthony Wright was our starting quarterback. We cannot have that going forward. Uh, we have three pretty important names on our injured reserve here. Tony Banks is injured for a large chunk of the season. Brian DeMarco, uh, free agent right guard that we signed uh, at a free agency, is also injured. Uh, and Ellis is also injured. But he is probable. He will be back. And it looks like DeMarco has a very small injury too. So Tony Banks is the big one. So we are missing our starting quarterback. Not a huge loss because Tony Banks isn't that good in this game. But it is noticeable because we don't have the depth of the position. So uh, Anthony Wright uh, led us to that amazing choke job in Philadelphia last uh, in the last video. And so now we are making a switch up here. We are going to be starting Quincy Carter, the rookie. So um, this is going to be, uh, I guess, his big, his big break, his big start. We're going to see him on the turf here in Texas Stadium and see how well he can do uh, against the Washington Redskins, which, uh, I mean, are sneakily good in these early games, man. I've played with them before. I did a franchise mode, you know, just for fun. And that no three, you know, a few years ago, and that was a ton of fun. They had a really good team. They just don't have a good quarterback. It's weird. Like, they have a really tough quarterback situation around this time. Uh, they have a decent team, a lot of good pieces and stuff. Stephen Davis is a freaking dog. Um you know, London Fletcher, Champ Bailey, just just a great defense, <laughs> you know. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, they just can't seem to figure out the quarterback situation. That seems to be the recurring theme for the Skins around this time. So this is a famous storied rivalry here taking place. Obviously, the Redskins are already working the ball in our territory on second and one. Stephen Davis is going to get to the outside. It's going to spin off a block. He probably, if he would have went on the inside of that block, he probably would have been gone, man. I don't think anyone probably would have caught him. So on first and 10 now here late in this first quarter, no offense has really been able to, uh, to, to strike. Uh, but the Skins here are now putting something together. So they're going to stick with the ground game. And Stephen Davis gets to the outside with a burst of speed here. And he finally gets brought down by one of our big old linebackers. Uh, and that uh, it's going to be a, 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 a fresh set of downs for the Skins as Stephen Davis, as I mentioned just a little bit ago, is, is just a dog for this team, and he's just so good for this team. So on first and 10 now, George is going to drop back here, and he's on the run, gets rid of it, and that one gets bobbled somehow. Somehow the uh, the tight end is the one who comes down with it. I have no idea how he came down with it, but that one got bobbled around. So on second and one now, the Skins are going to send uh, Alexander in motion as time is continuing to expire here in this first quarter. They have, uh, I mean, it's not goal to go, but they're inside the five here, and they're not going to need any of the plays. It's Alexander, the man who just caught the ball to get him there, hauls it in into the end zone uh, to get the Skins their first points of the game and get the first points uh, for anybody in this game as the Skins win win as the skins score <laughs> rather uh I, i'm not trying to insinuate anything okay we, we we still have plenty of time here to answer back to the skins i do not let your your confidence wane all right we will be fine so the first quarter is going to come to a close here we are down by seven quincy carter now unloads this one off to the side here and finds ismail who cuts up field shakes off one tackle and gets brought down by a couple other redskins uh but not before crossing the 50 here and getting us into washington territory so we are on the roll the roll a roll we're on a roll <laughs> finally our offense is able to do something here early on in this game here but it is coming a little bit late here we're well into the second quarter and we gotta try to move a little bit quicker if at all possible you know we can't take forever to score any kind of points so quincy carter now takes a snap plenty of time throws a very contested ball to joey galloway there's really no shot of joey galloway ever having a clear lane to catch that ball but uh coach newton must have told quincy carter hey man if joey galloway's out there just try and find him and get him the ball so we can't do much of anything on that drive so that was going to end uh in nothing for us so that first half comes to a close seven to nothing is still your score but not if the skins are going to be doing stuff Stuff like this and it's a big old pass here probably a, a, a what a, about a 60 65 yard pass i think george on the run somehow finds i believe that's gardner who hauls it in and gets into the end zone for the Redskins. Now 14-0 to 0 is going to be your score, and we're going to get the action shot replay uh, of, of both, uh, of every angle of, of this touchdown here. But it was an impressive touchdown, and we had a linebacker in coverage. That's never going to work, man. It's never going to work if you're putting a linebacker on a receiver in coverage, and I'm sure the Redskins perfectly saw that from a mile away, and that's exactly why they uh, cooked up what they cooked up. So Redskins with the ball again here on second and nine. They're going to give it to Stephen Davis who's again outpacing all of our defenders. Look at that. We have five Cowboys over there, and somehow he still gets the first down and a little bit more. Look at all the Cowboys we had in the vicinity, man. What is going on? 
it's just like the 1600s out there. First and 10 now, or the 1800s rather. Uh, so George drops back here, and he's going to pump fake, and he's going to find, I believe it's Gardner again, who's got to come back for it, but he does haul it in and gets the first down for the Skins. And that is going to end the third quarter. And 14-0 is still your score as we've been unable to really do much of, have much of a breakthrough with Quincy Carter at quarterback. So at second and four now, George is going to drop back. He's going to float this one out to Alexander who has to come back for it, but he does get the first down for the Skins, and they're going to continue to move this ball downfield, unfortunately, as our defense is struggling to just contain the offensive weapons here that the Skins are boasting. So on second and ten, they're going to send a man in motion now. And George is going to hand this one off to Stephen Davis, who gets outside that block there on the outside edge here. And it's another foot race. <laughs> and uh, he gets brought down, but not again before getting the first down and a heck of a lot more. So there you see he's now broken over 100 yards rushing today. And it feels like it. It definitely feels like it. So first and goal now for the Redskins here. Just a little over four minutes left to go from the five-yard line. Stephen Davis this time gets gobbled up perfectly in the backfield. It's about time one of our linebackers was able to just wrap somebody up. Or no, that was one of our ends so <laughs> it's about time we uh, were able to contain Stephen Davis on the very next play we are going to do it, and that time we do have a big linebacker who's able to wrap up and bring him down man it is good to see so we like seeing that kind of stuff so on third and goal here got to keep the Redskins out of the end zone we're going to go with their third down back and contact is made but he's going to fall forward into the end zone that's going to be a third touchdown for the Redskins man 21 to 0 is going to be your score pending the extra point and this is just getting out of hand it's gonna it's like the Tampa Bay game all over again and we are just not looking all that good so finally we're going to get something some action off is your Quincy Carter going to maybe get something rolling here as he takes 14,000 seconds uh, to make a decision, and he has to find Ismail, who runs all the way back for that ball uh, and gets brought down at around midfield. But it is going to be a first down for the Cowboys, and we are finally going to be able to say that we are moving forward. We haven't really been able to say that all game long here. The offense is stagnated. Maybe Anthony Wright was the better choice. I'm not sure. Uh, zero points versus what, like nine <laughs> points? Uh, 12 points? Uh, I don't know, but... Quincy Carter nearly throws a pick trying to get that ball out to Ismail again. So, real dangerous with the football here. Uh, we got a lot of growing pains here. Got a lot of growing pains. So, on second and ten here, which is two minutes and nine seconds left to go. We got to move fast here if we want to get into this ball game. Pressure gets to Quincy Carter, and he is going it down as he takes all day to find a, uh, an open receiver again. Emmett Smith is just standing there, just admiring the scenery, I guess. He's not there to pick up a block at all, so... On third and 13, Quincy Carter's got to go for a lot here. And he finds Joey Galloway, who hauls it in and gets brought down at the 25-yard line, the Redskin 25. And now we're going to run the hurry up here because time is of the essence. We don't have a ton of time here to make something happen on offense here. We're just a minute and 45 seconds left to go. Quincy Carter wasting no time. is going to get the snap and throw this one across the middle to Derek Mays, our free agent receiver, who can't haul that one in. So... He was right there in position, just couldn't couldn't get his hands on the ball. So in second and ten, it's another deep ball here to Joey Galloway, and he hauls it in. And Quincy Carter's first touchdown as a Cowboy is going to be ag uh, against the Redskins, against the Redskins. But it's going to be to Joey Galloway, who stumbles into the end zone for the first touchdown of this game here. So Cowboys fans will not go home empty-handed. They will get to see, uh, well, they'll get to see Joey Galloway dance for one, and they're also going to get to see a touchdown. So things work out well for us uh, in some aspects. So we're going to go with the onside kick here because we gotta got to play competitive. Uh, but, of course, no shot uh, in, in that situation. Zero shot. So the Redskins are going to retain possession here. And now with a minute and a half left to go, they still have something that they want to do potentially. Stephen Davis blowing off some defenders here and just with a burst of speed gets inside the 20. And that is going to be, uh, I guess, the game ceiling uh, first down because uh, now we're going to have to blow the rest of our timeouts. There's not a whole lot we could do, but the Redskins are still going to continue to move on offense here, and we're going to see just exactly what they're going to do. So on second and nine, they're going to send that fullback in motion here. Just a minute 25 left to go. They're going to stick it on the ground with Steven Davis, who cuts up inside here, bouncing off the of defenders. Look at all the Cowboys in the vicinity, man, but no one could just seem to bring him down for some reason, man. He has just been the MVP of this game. We couldn't even hold a candle to him. So on third and four, uh, the Redskins are again going to try and get the first down, I guess, even though they could completely just burn the rest of the time in this game if they wanted to. I guess they really want uh, to rub it in into our faces. Uh, that they're beating us as badly as they are. So they're going to go with a fullback dive, and of course he's not going to get there. We're going to blow a timeout, I guess. I guess maybe we think we can do something with the ball. Ah, I don't know. Somehow George is the player of the game here, even though Stephen Davis was absolutely the reason that the Skins probably won in every aspect. 
Uh, they did have a receiving touchdown, but still. Uh, but 24 to 7 is your scores. The Redskins continue to roll here to 4 and 2, and we drop to 1 and 4. So unemployment is looking a little bit more enticing. The further we go on, unemployment looks a lot more likely, but uh, hopefully not. We didn't run the ball at all. Emmett Smith couldn't get anything going, so both teams not that great on third down here. We didn't even get into the red zone once. Quincy Carter's first start was probably pretty bad. I'm sure a lot of Cowboys fans are taking to the early internet forums saying how much they want Anthony Wright back as our starter, but we're probably just going to run with Quincy Carter moving forward because he is our rookie that we have to keep growing and developing. But here is a stat line here, uh, a rating 113 rating here 134 yards 8 for 14 you definitely like to see more on offense and just better production here but we also need help from Emmett Smith on the running game uh Joey Galloway's our leading receiver of course he is uh but still not a ton of production from our receivers man so we need to see a lot of changes on offense a lot more uh explosiveness on offense especially so coming out of that Redskins game we would also lose our next game against the Raiders uh in Oakland but we would pick up a win against the one and six Cardinals and that's going to take us into our next divisional game against the New York Giants uh in Rutherford New Jersey and they are one in seven so famously in these early games uh, a lot of the NFC East teams are pretty freaking bad <laughs> um including us, your Dallas Cowboys. So this is pretty much going to be a toilet bowl. Uh, hopefully not on national television because th that would be rough. But uh, the 2-5 and five Dallas Cowboys are going to be taking on the 1-7 and seven New York Giants. So hopefully we can get right, man, and just earn a nice little gritty win. So hope to see you guys there against the Giants.